The business events industry contributed to 1.9 billion in spending here locally in the Sultanate of Oman. This includes exhibitions and corporate meetings as the main focus right there. Oman Convention and Exhibition Center partnered and collaborated with key industry players in the market to drive economic investments and growth for Oman's events sector. I'm joined by engineer Saeed Ashamfri, the CEO of Oman Convention and Exhibition Center. Welcome, Saeed. Thanks, Ahmed. Thanks for hosting me today. It's always a pleasure coming here. It's always a pleasure also meeting your audience and uh, share with them uh, the updates of uh, our industry. Yes, the insights. Yeah. So you've been in the business of conferences, events for quite a while now. And for our audience to know more, what is it like to run Oman's premier destination when it comes to conferences and exhibitions at the OCEC? It's, it's, it's always a pleasure to be part of something that uh, can easily move the needles and can easily change the, the industry and change also the atmosphere and the economy of the country. I think uh, the main objective of building something like OCEC is to be an anchor for all the business events that happens in the country and also to showcase our seriousness to do business, uh, to build something that is representing us in terms of the look and feel, but also uh, represent our willingness to go and capture the markets and also host international big events in the country. So it's a big responsibility as well because you are part of an industry that's yet to be built and yet to be developed uh, and the ecosystem around it yet to also be engaged and activated. So uh, we are part of a learning curve, but it's a learning curve that is very exciting, uh, very fruitful, and we can see the change applied to not just to corporate uh, level, but also to SMEs and individuals who take this platform to learn and grow from it as well. Yes, so you talked about a learning curve or a learning point. Is there any specific point that you can remember or that has triggered your mind that, hey, this is something that we need to look more into in terms of a learning point? It, I would, there, there is a lot, actually. There is a lot, especially when you don't really have a local or a, or a competition in the market because you're competing against yourself and you are competing in an industry that yet to be explored and, uh, and also to be... Uh, to go all over the place if it is here. But when we look at the countries around us, there is a high competition in these areas. So you want it to be in the top. You want it to be uh, first in mind and you want to compete against the one who had the experience. So how can you do that? That is part of the learning experience. How can you bring talents people? How can you educate them? How can you set the standards? How can you create those process? How can you create the KPIs and then uh, key uh, indicators for them? But also in return is how to deal with tough times, how to deal with uh, Corona when Corona was around. How can you deal with keeping the talents uh, growing? Uh, not easy to deal with uh, situations like that. And then you also need to learn what is your uh, least capabilities and what's your maximum capabilities. So a building like this can host, what is the maximum number of events you can host at a time, considering all the resources and, and the rooms and the capabilities they have. But also in minimum, what is the bare minimum you can host as well? Because you want to, to understand below this is you, whereas your cost can't go below or lower than this. So having all this understanding helps you to make a better decisions. And that was part of our learning curve. What is the least, what is the maximum? What is the capabilities? What's the standards we have? And every event we have, we host, it's a challenge by itself because we deal with every event as it is our event. And we take it very personal. We take every details of it very personal to make sure the success of that event is a success for us as well. And we, we, are, we are keen and targeted and we are also put it in front of our eyes. At OCEC, events has to be remembered. It's not just an event, it's an event to be remembered. And, and we believe and understand also our clients also go through that journey with us. We host, we hold a tissue paper if you have to, <laughs> you know, for them, because it can be very dramatic sometimes, it can be very uh, tension. But also at the end of the day, we, we hug them, we celebrate with them success of, of them delivering the best event ever. Yes. So it is a learning curve throughout. Yes, and based on that learning curve, 
of course you've improved over the years so congratulations last year Oman Convention and Exhibition Center received around 1.5 million visitors yeah so we do want to offer an overview over this figure and give a bit more detail how did OCEC achieve this number So there is, we hosted over 230 events that is uh, more of a public uh, local events, but we host more smaller events when it comes to either internally or within the group of Umran, some, some smaller events is also hosted. 230 event hosted 1.5 million. That is across uh, big events like a book fair. So we have comics, IDF and other events that had bring visitors from local visitors and also international visitors. And obviously every year when you look at the numbers and the numbers keep growing, you're looking at how can you make the user experience even better. Every year you you challenge yourself to create a better user experience. And coming out of the COVID, coming, coming out of the pandemic, it we weren't sure how 2023 will look like. 2023 is more of a recovery year, but actually we overachieved our number of 2019. So we grown by 2019 by almost 20%. I know of other centers in other countries, they have not yet reached 2019. So we actually did better than a lot of countries. We reach over 20% of those numbers. We even increase our revenue by 20, also 20%. So that's mean overall, they're not just how what OCC is doing, but there is also an indicator that's economical growth that's happening around us. In the, in the country, in the region around us, events, event business, is becoming a big thing. And if you look at uh, regionally, you, we just, uh, UAE have hosted Expo, uh, uh, Riyadh will host the next Expo 2030. And then there's a lot of other events happening. World Cup just finished. And now we have Asian Cup in, in, in Qatar again. So the region is actually in the spotlights of a lot of events. And Oman is also getting part of that share as well. Okay, other than that, of course, you've achieved these numbers. The There was beautiful moments within 2023. So can you highlight the most no noteworthy events of 2023 that OCEC remembers? This was an event. Hey, this was a catch for us. Well, there was uh, there was quite uh, one of the biggest events we've hosted, which is a unique one. And and we have also the regular one that we keep keep growing as we go. But we hosted the World uh, Veteran Table Tennis Competition. That is uh, an event that brought... Uh, many different sports enthusiasts and excited people about um, table tennis to the country. Uh, that took place in the center where all, over uh, 600 to 700 uh, people came from all over the world. But plus also we had a lot of countries participating in that event. So we, it was a big one, happened earlier uh, in 2023. Uh, Muscat Book Fair, always a big event to attend. I'm sure this year we'll see you as well there and a lot of our uh, audience will be there. Uh, it's always growing in terms of size, it grows in terms of content, and it's, uh, it brings not less than 300 to 400,000 people in that single event. Uh, we, we, we also noticed that Oman Sustainability Week is becoming something big. It started two years ago, it becomes a world uh, event. A lot of people come from all over the world to attend the work, uh, Oman Sustainability Week. Also considering our vision as a country by 2050 to be zero carbon uh, Uh, country as well. Comics is uh, is one of our uh, big event that keeps growing. Our man perfume show, our own host and our own design of a perfume show that is uh, we were hosting. We hosted it in June. It was our third version of that. It, uh, this year had a lot of international participants and companies. Uh, Muscat Art in October, SME Omani starts up that happened in November, and we also had Green Hydrogen, which is also a different site of sustainability. That is focused more on the green hydrogen and also Muscat Jewelry Show, which we concluded the year with that show. And in, uh, this year we're planning to grow a better version of that. And there's a lot of uh, people who always every year wait for this. This is some of the main events, but this is out of the 230 event that we just talked about. In 2023, of course. And I was looking through your website, uh, Said, and on the website, the OCEC's website, there's a vision to be recognized as the leading venue for service products, people and performance. So what steps do you take at OCEC in order to make this happen? It is, it is absolutely important that you continue to innovate. And when you talk about innovation, you don't talk about just technology, but you innovate how you do your process, how you, do, how you deal with your clients, how you enhance the, the visitor experience, how to deal with your internal talents, how you innovate yourself all over and they continue to challenge yourself because the innovation uh, scale 
continue to grow. And that is very, very important. So one is innovation is our key uh, key points. The other part is digitalizing our services. If you if you if you notice that in our website, you definitely will notice that we have also three 360 virtual reality uh, tour inside this inside there. And you can literally visit the center well while you are somewhere else. You can get the feeling of the space, you can get the feeling of the sizes, and you can also get an AutoCAD of every room we have there to make sure when you design your events and come over to OCC, you also have all those details available for you, for you just to see that physically and the next uh, visit. But also we're digitalizing how we deal with customer requests. We're digitalizing the information that comes through the pipelines of requests that comes from the initiative of the idea, planning of the idea, all the way to the execution. And then also digitalizing how we get the final request from clients who wanted to final uh, different details. All of those are part of our digitalizing our service. There's a lot in the digitalizing services we're working on coming from someone who's an IT background and focus in, in IT. So I, I know the importance of making sure a lean process has to be there. A digitalizing platforms have to be available for people to use. And finally, we, we, we sustaining how we do things. It's important that we sustain our business by creating uh, a process that f- support the sustainability of our, our process, but also how we sustain the environment around us, how we sustain uh, usage of services around us. We don't take things for granted, but we appreciate what we have. Yeah. And then how, when we appreciate what we have, we like to sustain it and keep it growing. If you come to OCC, you notice our green project is very, very focused on us. We're a lead certified uh, building, a gold lead certified building, aiming to be a platinum as well. We are now working in a solar project, which we'll announce very, very soon. That is actually will provide us with enough uh, electricity to for our cooling center. We are working in a lot of green, uh, creating more green uh, elements around the center as well. Uh, and also in the way how we handle food and processing of different things inside the center. So we take it seriously and we like to be always sustainable in all level of measurements. What is queued for us in terms of events for 2024? Well, there's we we are aiming. Obviously, we always aim for more. Yeah, we 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 aim for more. We aim for more international. We wanted to expose ourselves even more. So we are uh, promoting the destination as we go. We are part of a lot of big uh, events that's happening outside to make sure that we bring something to inside uh, the country as well. We we just hosted uh, the pharmaceutical. Uh, we. Uh, a pharma international Oman international Phar- pharma conference and exhibition just in June, just that finished uh, a few weeks ago. We are hosting, as we speak now, uh, the Oman uh, water conference. It's taking place as we speak right now in, in inside the center. There is a global higher education exhibition, uh, JETEX, which is coming in February. We're also looking at uh, interior design and furniture expo, IDF, which is our famous uh, annual uh, IDF. Uh, also, we have a General Arab Insurance Federation conference happening in, in February. This will collect uh, a lot of people from the insurance uh, industry, not just in Oman, but also globally. Book Fair is coming back again uh, this year with a bigger version and bigger uh, look and feel. Uh, Oman Sustainability Week is coming again. Uh, Masqat Art, Masqat Jewelry Show, and there's actually a pipeline of international show which we are finalizing as we speak. We always aim between uh, 10 to 20 uh, international events, which is uh, varies between a global conference to a regional uh, conference. Uh, this year, we aim, there's already confirmed by nine or 10, so hopefully, hopefully we get more. Last year, we closed the year with uh, almost 17 international uh, conference hosted at OCC. Yes, so that is all beautiful. Now, I do want us to put on our leader's cap, Saeed, here, our thinker's cap, and just focus on the future. Do you see Oman hosting events at the scale of what we see in our neighboring countries anytime soon? I would say yes. We have every element, every element in the checklist to make that successful story even more. We don't have to focus only in designing something similar. We need to focus on something that represents our uniqueness. And I think uh, a few initiatives that's happening around us now in Oman and and could easily be our our key anchor events. You know, we talked about sustainability that's keep growing. It's part of our vision. It's part of the 2040, it's part of the 2050, zero carbon initiative. There's a lot of stuff we could do there. If we focus one of these events and say, let's create a mega event now. Let's, let's look at what is required for us to bring the world here and then create this anchor event that can bring in 300,000 people 
400,000 people a week. It, it can easily be done. We have the right infrastructure in place. We have the center, we have the hotels, we have the airports, we have the, the transportation uh, network. It requires that just the, the ecosystem has to work together because it's not just a, a center that can initiate and bring the event, but it's actually the whole city had to bring the event. Um, and if you look at the global model, you will notice uh, in Europe, for example, cities will compete against each other. It's not the center in that city. It's the Barcelona competing against Madrid in terms of hosting an event. And you will see the mayor of Barcelona is there and you see the mayor of Madrid in the same room trying to compete to bring the event there. Because eventually any revenue that comes to the city will come to the city first. That is the hotels, the airports, the transportations, the retails. Everyone will benefit from 300, 400,000 people in the city. The center or the, the venue itself takes 10% of all of this or even less. But the 90% goes to the ecosystem around the city. So it requires that the ecosystem works together to attract this kind of events and create those events and create an anchor for them and a plan for them, not just once, at least a five years plan. If me and you recall events like, you know, what we, what we named out uh, in a neighbor country didn't have an open, open overnight. It happened after years. If the version was smaller, got bigger and got bigger. Now, if you go there, you have to pay money for to enter the event. You have to queue uh, to get the registration done. And if you're lucky, you find a reasonable hotel to stay in. Mm -hmm. And but that's how you create uh, an industry. Yes. It takes it takes years to create the industry and make it work. And we do have every element to make it happen. We just need the ecosystem to work together. Mm -hmm. So collaboration between all different entities, whether governmental, private sector, SMEs, if they all come together, Correct. Correct. they can make a dream come true. It is, it is an absolutely easy dream to come true, but it just requires that we sit on one table and say, listen, let's get all the elements right. Let's compromise a bit for some of the stuff that we today find them hurdles and then overcome them at least as an example for the next three to five years. And let's just like, let the system work. Yes, and that's what we hope to see, inshallah, in the future and upcoming years as well. So, Engineer Saeed Shemfri, the CEO of Oman Convention and Exhibition Center, is there anything you'd like to add just as we conclude this interview? I would like to, to say that uh, the mice industry or the convention and exhibition and incentive business, it is a huge business. When we talk about $1.9 million, that is in terms of revenue that comes to the country, we're, really, we're actually looking at a very small figure comparing to the world and the global economy impact of the mice industry. It, it, this is an industry that can easily activate every household. This is an industry that can easily activate every governance and state in the country. Because when you bring those tourists to the country and they are a decision makers, they are not just any tourist who, who is not pack packing. He is actually uh, a CEO of a company, a chairman of a group, uh, a business uh, decision maker. When he comes and see the country, because of an exhibition or a, a conference, he would actually create a mindset about this place. He would say, I wanna bring my kids next trip. I want to invest some money here. I want to stay here. I wanna go spend three more days, uh, go to Sh Sharqiyah region or go to Salala or go and explore Gabal Akhdar. So we're talking about people who are not just coming for a quick trip and leaving. You create a mindset for these people. and. The more we increase and the more we focus in this industry, the easier things can become. The, the, the tough part has already been done. Center is there, airport is there, airline is there, hotels are there. That's the tough part. Infrastructure is always the tough part. But the easy part now is just to promote it, to promote the destination. How can we get the destination to be the first in mind and compete, uh, compete against all the international other destination? And Oman has it all. Yes. That's what I can say. Yes, Oman indeed has it all and we're aiming for that collaboration to happen, to that integration to happen. Engineer Saeed Shamfri, CEO of Oman Convention and Exhibition Center. Thank you for being with us. Thanks, Ahmed. Thanks a lot for hosting me today.